Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is a no nonsense straight up video to show you how to get this Flux1 dev or Flux1 Schnell model locally through Comfy UI. I will be showing you a step by step demo to first install Comfy UI and then we are going to download in a very easy way this Flux1 dev model and then we will see how can we use it with Comfy UI. I will be sharing all the commands which I am using in this video on my blog and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So just sit back, relax and enjoy the spectacle. If you don't know what Flux1 models are, I already have done heaps of videos on all three variants of these amazing model which is Flux1 Dev, Chanel and also the Pro1. This model produces cutting edge very high quality images just from your text prompts. It has got a very competitive prompt following and it matches the performance of closed source alternatives. It has been trained using guidance distillation which I already have covered in my other videos as what exactly it means technically. Also if you don't know what Comfy UI is, Comfy UI is one of the most powerful and modular Diffusion model GUI or graphical user interface, API and backend with graph nodes interface. I already have covered Comfy UI in detail in my other videos so please check out just search on my channel and you should be able to find it. Okay that said and done before we begin the installation let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are installing Flux1 Dev, I would highly suggest that you should at least have 24 GB plus VRAM. If you have around 16 or 12 GB of VRAM, then you can go with the Schnell one. But for the Dev one, make sure that you have 24 GB plus VRAM. Okay, now that said and done, let me clear the screen. In order to get started, let me create a virtual environment with Conda and I'm just calling it Comfy. Let's wait for it to get installed and activated. And that is done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's git clone Comfy UI. So the first step, what we are doing, we are installing Comfy UI from the scratch. So I'm cloning its repo and I'm seeding into that Comfy UI repo as you can see. Next up, we need to install PyTorch and some of the other prerequisites which include Torch Vision, Torch Audio. So let me run this command and this is going to take a couple of minutes. So let's wait. That is all done. And now let's install all the requirements with pip from the root of this Comfy UI. Let's wait for it to get finished. This is going to take again a minute or so. And that is all done. Let me clear the screen. So Comfy UI is now installed. Now before I start the Comfy UI, let's download the different components of models and then we will start the Comfy UI in our browser. For that, first let's go to this Hugging Face page and don't worry, I'm going to put all of these links with instructions as what to download from where. Uh, so don't worry about it. So first step, we need to go to this text encoders and from there we need to download this clip and then these save tensors. FP16, if you have a lower uh, VRAM GPU like a 12 GP, then go with FP8. But I'm just going to download both of these. And in order to get this downloaded, simply click on it and then right click on download, save link as, and then go to Ubuntu and then go to your Comfy UI directory. Let's me scroll up. This is my Comfy UI and then just simply click on this uh, models and now in this uh, models directory click on clip 
and then click on save let's wait for it you see on the top right it is being downloaded that is done again click on files here and then let me download this fp16 save tensors again right click on download save link as and then in the same directory in the clip directory click on save and as it's a big file so let's wait for it to get downloaded and if i just click on my browser on the top right it is showing me the progress the file size around just over 9 gig so let's wait for it to get finished and that file also has been downloaded so in the next step let's go to the actual models website which is on hugging face flux one dev here what you need to do is just scroll down here and you will see there will be a file called as ae safe tensor click on it then just right click on download save link as and then instead of clip directory just click on models here and then search for vae go into vae vae directory and then click on save and then just click here and you can see that it is already downloaded which is a great now again go back to the same flux one dev model card directory and then let me click here so this is a file the same directory where we have downloaded this a tensor in the next step scroll down and click on the actual model which is the flux one dash dev dot save tensors and then you see it's a big file around 23.8 gigabyte this one so right click on it download and then save link as now instead of vae go back one step in models go to unet and then click on save here let's wait for it to get downloaded this is going to take a bit of a time as you can see it is a big big file now you see that we have downloaded three types of files here let me try to explain what is meant by this clip file vae file or this actual model file because this is quite uh, interesting to know so first first is a clip clip stands for contrastive language image pre-training model what it does is it takes your text input for example you want to generate an image of uh, a jug or a star so that is your text input and then this clip model takes that text as an input and it generates a text embedding or numerical representation of your text and then it provides a semantic guidance for image generation to the next component which is a vae or variational autoencoder vae generates a latent code or it is called as compact representation from that embedding or numerical representation and it produces a rough image representation this rough image representation is called as latent space and thirdly it gives it to this big model the diffusion model which takes the latent code from vae and refines it or diffuse it through a series of transformation and then it generates a high quality image that matches the text input that's what it does so that is why we have to download these three different types of models in order to um, create our full text to image pipeline and that is what comfy ui is so good at so let's wait for this um, last model to get downloaded and then we will start our comfy ui and you can see that the model is downloaded now let's go to our terminal and start our comfy ui and for that all you need to do is to run this command python3 main.py and it is going to start that comfy ui on port 8188 on your local system so let me go to your browser and then let's simply access this link and this is our comfy ui now this comfy ui has been um, loaded with default values now in order to load the workflow of comfy ui for flux one dev we uh, either can just upload a json file or an easier way is to go to this website which is <coughs> uh, comfy ui examples from here you see if you are doing flux dev just 
save this image maybe i'll just say save image as and then i'll just i'll just save it on my local system and then when you will drag and drop this image to your comfy ui automatically it is going to populate the workflow for flux step so let me just drop it here and that is done now simply uh, click on this queue prompt now what this queue prompt is going to do you see here the prompt is cute enemy girl with massive fluffy panic here so let me click on queue prompt so you see first the diffusion model is loaded and then the um, not clip is being loaded and you can keep watching that how it is progressing through it and our models are already selected you see diffusion model is actual model this is our uh, clip loader and then we have VAE and then now it is going to the sampler let me also just move this here where we will see the image shortly hopefully let me go here so it is generating the image let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long I'm just showing you the whole process here and now you should see the image there you go you see this is your image and look at the high quality of our output with this flux one dev and that is why it is so so famous uh, how good is that and you can just give it any prompt here for example i'm just going to maybe remove this i'll just say it or shining star and then simply click on q prompt let's wait for it this should be quick because models are already loaded now maybe i'll just move this manager here i'm just showing you the speed of it too on my gpu card so bear with me then there you go so this is a shining star how good is that now let me give it a bit more prompt to show you more quality of it in the next prompt i'm just telling it to draw a regal victorian era inspired gothic princess with long curly raven black hair and piercing sapphire blue eyes wearing a lavish velvet and lace gown in deep rich purple adorned with intricate silver embroidery so let me click on q prompt here and then let's see what it draws this time it should be real good let's wait for it to finish and you can see the speed it's really really amazing almost there there you go how good is that how real it looks it has been just generated by an ai i mean look at the whole embroidery and then background uh, it is really a go and look at the gothic architecture behind it amazing amazing stuff and one more thing you might have noticed that hands are quite uh, you know well formatted there is nothing wrong with it even the arms are quite good real good stuff let's try one last one and there you go so in this example what i have done is i have just given it um, a prompt to create a movie poster and you see that it's uh, very perfectly has written the sunset serenade where music meets joy let me quickly create another movie poster and this is a bit different and you will see what it creates let's wait for it to finish i'm running it and there you go another one and you see how real it looks i mean this is just um simply spellbounding so not only it creates an image but it really really puts the text on top of it flawlessly the interleaving of text and image is simply mind-blowing and that is the reason why flux one models are still at the top of all the charts wherever you go so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and now you can easily install this flux one dev or same thing with the chanel one all you need to do is to just change this flux one dev to flux one chanel and download the same sort of files and it should be good to go and i will give all the commands step by step in the 
a link so which you can access and have fun so that's it let me know what do you think um if you want to if you if it helps you out please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching